All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants, and this is your Week 8 Giants offensive line report. A little bit late. Going to go through seven of the Giants' best runs. Well, six, technically, one that had a penalty on it that I didn't really like the penalty. Actually, I hated the penalty. And then we're going to look at Greg Hubbard's first game with the New York Giants at left tackle. How did he hold up against Alex Highsmith? How does he help in the run game? Just going to have a little bit of crossover sorry it's a little bit late but need to get the film review out to do the mailbag it's a short week we have an nfl show we have to do got a million billion jillion things to do but i can't not do the offensive line report god forbid let's get into it first play like and subscribe how about that why don't you why don't you just like and and freaking subscribe right now all right so we're gonna go through seven tyrone tracy ones now this one actually didn't count because of the holding here on john runyon but I want you to just watch this and tell me if you think this is holding. Or is it number 50, Orlando Roberts, acting and throwing himself on the ground, which is exactly what freaking happened. But the Giants ran z- zone, right? Inside zone, a little bit of wide zone, which we'll talk about. Um, but inside zone, that's where all their rushing success came from. And that's what they like to run against stack boxes. So let's go through it. They did a really good job. So let's, I mean, let's go one by one. Illuminor, he's blocking out here on Watt. Bam. With these two, Greg Van Roten and JMS comboing for uh, this player into the linebacker. Right? This is a good combo. The linebacker uh, fills uh, quickly, shoots the gap. Greg Van Roten passes, uh, takes it. JMS stays on this. We're getting good movement on that. We're, we're taking Keanu Benton, and we're working him down gaps. I mean, just really nice push from JMS. And then on the backside, John Runyon does a good job helping uh, Greg Hubbard hold on to this block. Runyon gets off onto this block, and they call a bullshit holding. But Greg Hubbard is holding his block. Hayward's trying to get an arm out there, and that's a freaking crease. That's a crease. And Tracy puts his shoulder down, gets an extra uh, seven, eight yards, and they call a penalty. They call a penalty on that crap. But that's... Nice run. So they come back. They come back two plays later. Let's run wide zone. 10-yard run. Let's cut it back. Right? So the Giants are starting to get better at zone. Now, they're they're never going to be a wide zone team with this personnel, but they've gotten better. So, all right. So we have combo from here to 26. These two are comboing from this defense alignment to this linebacker. And then you have these two here. And we can go quickly through this. Jermaine's got a check out here. Theo blocks that. JMS and Greg Van Roten, we got to get on our horses and get moving. Greg Van Roten actually does a good job crossing face. And then the key on this is really these guys being smart. Not having great blocks, but being smart. That if they're going to flow and you're not going to be able to get across their face, well, then you get on their inside hip and you drive them out. All right, it's kind of an internal clock of one, two, three. I didn't cross. I didn't get across their face and cut them off. So now I'm going to get on their hip and push them out and create a cutback lane. And Runyon's the best example of this. All right, one, two, three. Not able to get across his face. So what do you do? All right, I want to let's talk about this a little more. So on this outside zone, All right? What ideally what we want is to get here. And be able to flip our hips around and seal this player off. And give the running back something to run off of out here. That's ideally what you what you want. But defensive linemen know that. So they get paid to do their job too. So it's kind of one, two, three. And if you're at this point and you're not, you know you're not going to get it. What you do is you get inside of them. And you continue to wash them out. Which creates this cutback lane. And that's exactly what John Runyon does here. Give a cutback lane. Greg Hubbard, you want to seal this linebacker off, but he flows heavily, then you just get inside and seal him off. And then that, the zone read defender for uh, Jones holds the zone read defender. You have Slayton here. And that, my friend, you can drive a waste management truck through. And bam, get yourself a nice 10-yard run. Right? Not playing ass-kicking football, but smart football. Smart run game football. Next play. Seven yards. A little zone read. Theo and Greg and Greg Hubbard gonna do an awesome job here. Again, Greg Hubbard has helped this run game. On the front side of this, Luminor does his job. Greg Van Roten does a you know an adequate job. He holds on to his block. Now let's watch JMS and John Runyon. 
This defensive lineman wants to jump into this gap. So J- JMS takes that left hand and torques him out. And gets on him and moves him out. Like just moves Keanu Benton out of the club. Runyon passes, you know, helps get this uh, player into this gap. Now Runyon's going to go pick up the linebacker, get a piece of him, not a great job. And then Theo and Greg Hubbard, right? I mean, Greg Hubbard's strong, man. Good first two steps. Theo's helping, but he ain't helping much. And Greg or Greg Hubbard, we got two Gregs on the line now. Greg Hubbard. This is not Greg Hubbard. His name is Chris Hubbard. My fr- my friend's dad's name is Greg Hubbard. Oh, my God. Um, I mean, just Chris Hubbard working this down. Man, that's a brain fart. My best friend for a long time, his name is James Hubbard, and his dad's name is Greg. I lived with Greg for a little bit. I got my dog from Greg Hubbard. How about that? She's dead. All right. Next play. We got uh, a 26-yard 20, run. Inside zone, they're going to blitz six in the here. JMS is going to do a great job picking it up. And Tracy makes a great read on this. Great read on this play. So let's check the front side first. Chris Hubbard is going to block the edge. Runyon doesn't do a great job on Cam Hayward. He does a good job. But because of this blitz by Queen, JMS has his eyes up, picks it up, gets hat placement, keep moving, go. On the backside, good job by Greg Van Roten and Jermaine Illuminor. Right, Greg Van Roten right now is holding up, right, keeping that extension to allow Illuminor to come take over this block. He does that. Greg Van Roten works off to the linebacker at the right time. And Tracy's got a two-way go, basically. Because Illuminor's holding his block, he's got a two-way go. So we're going to play off of number 41, Peyton Wilson. And Peyton Wilson works for this gap. And here we go. We got green, green grass. Just a quick cut and burst. All right, let's like I mean, let's watch it. I mean, that's quick, man. That's good stuff from Tyrone Tracy there. Next play, seven yards, wide zone. Now we're gonna we're gonna work off of Greg Van Roten's block. We're gonna cut back off of it. Again, and I know this O line report, but Tracy has done a really good job, man. The Giants don't do a great job on the front side of this. They just don't. They're not great at this play. They're not going to get consistently good at this. But what you can do is block your head up blocks. And Van Roten gives Tracy a way to work. Gives Tracy a way to work off of this. And if you continue to have success against this, guess what's going to come back in the playbook? Zone reads. Because this defensive end is going to have to start crashing down on this. Now, here's the 45-yard touchdown for Tyrone Tracy versus this mugged-up look. Let you watch it, and then we'll break it down. All right, so let's go through it. All right, so they got this mugged-up look, right? Both linebackers in the A-gap. So inside zone, our, our responsibilities are about as easy as they freaking get, right? Everyone blocked just down one gap. Theo Johnson takes the backside. Pretty easy, right? JMS does a good job on the linebacker. We give, we gain ground to give this uh, running back, Tyrone Tracy, uh, room to cut off of. But Chris Hubbard is the key on this. One, two, bring your feet, extend, pop this defense alignment up, and sustain your block, right? And that gives Tyrone Tracy a two way go on this. You pull up this safety. Right, the safety's here. If this safety fills into this gap, then Tyrone Tracy's going to run right through here. And this is where the speed of Tyrone Tracy makes makes a difference because this is going to be a successful run at this point right here. But the speed of Tracy means not only are we going to get a successful run, we're going to outrun all these players. And we're going to have the Giants' longest rushing attempt since week one, 2022, against the Tennessee Titans. Bam. Next play, 17-yard zone. Chris Hubbard. Tyrone Tracy, gritty. Again, I'm not going to explain all the inside zone rules again. JMS, Greg Van Roten getting movement, right? That's how you want to work a combo. 
right? We want to work into the linebacker. Van Roten holds him up. JMS brings the movement. We're moving him back. We are blocking into the linebacker right here. And then watch Chris Hubbard help out John Runyon here. Bam! Right? We take this defensive tackle and we displace him. Bam! Pop him down a gap. Get off to the linebacker. And here we go. There's your crease. Now, Tyrone Tracy, you do the rest. You keep those feet churning. Bam. So just really successful running game for the Giants. Continue to build on it. I'm tired of talking about good run game, bad run game, good run game, bad run game. You got a bad, you got a good matchup against the Commanders. Take advantage of it. A chill is in the air. Leaves are falling to the ground. And football every weekend. That's what fall is all about. That's what it's all about, guys. And you can make each weekend even more exciting by getting into the action with our partners at DraftKings. The number one place to bet on touchdowns. Right now, all new customers who bet just $5 will instantly get $200 in bonus bets when you use code WORLD. Stand on the action and use your $200 in bonus bets to bet anytime touchdowns on DraftKings. Bet on the NASCAR championship too. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WORLD and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code WORLD only at DraftKings Sportsbook. You'll be glad you did. And again... Get in on the freaking action, right? Like you you got what we see here right now is action. So get in on it. I'm going to bet Larson, maybe like Larson's championship plus neighbors anytime touchdown against the commanders. Like I feel like that could be pretty good, right? That could be pretty good. So use promo code world. You'll be glad you did. All right, let's talk about Chris Hubbard now. Anytime the, a new player plays in season that we're not familiar with, I like to give him his own breakdown. Um, and the run game you saw in the last segment, he brings you juice, right? And I think that's why he should continue to play. But he is an issue against pass protection. I know Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt, who we had the face against, are beasts and, and will beat a lot of guys. But he got, I mean, I, I barely put half of you know his like bad pass protection plays in here. But I do think he needs to play. He at least gives you an advantage in one area where Josh Azudu gives is, an, is a disadvantage in both areas. And as the Giants you know concede like let's let's try and make something a strength let's try and make the run game a strength so let's get into it first play running duo right we know that duo concept double teams was it's just like kind of pure strength i mean we're moving this cat right you, you guys watch these with john Runyon. john Runyon's is not moving guys consistently we're here hip to hip keep our feet driving and we are driving this defense alignment four five yards back right and that's exactly what this run is right just get behind them get your four or five yards tyrone tracy that's exactly what that play is and then the next plays we we went over a couple of these so i won't spend too much time on it but just backside of inside zone our feet our footwork is not great right it's skinny but it's just a pure strength that he has that he can hold this block on cam hayward and Tracy's able to run right off of that. Bam. Nice run. Next play. We're going to pin it down. Backside of inside zone. All right. This D-lineman wants to jump down a gap. We're going to pin, hit, pin him down from the one hash to the other. All right. 49 wants to jump into this gap. We're meeting him right now at this side of the hash. And just the torque and strength. That, again, we're standing straight up. Our footwork is not good. But we're just strong. And we are able to just, I mean, put him on his ass from here to here. Let him know. Let Jeremiah Moon know. Next play. Again. Hold your block. Hold your block. Guess who the running back's cutting off of? You. Touchdown. Longest, again, longest touchdown. Here, we're going to combo to the linebacker. Right? We give that help to John Runyon. We, go, we get off to the linebacker. Runyon holds him up. We hammer. Right? Take our shoulder. Bam. Hammer. Get off to the linebacker. There's your crease. There's your crease. So you see the good stuff in the run game. Now let's talk about the pass protection because that's obviously the weak part of his game. Uh, the spin move killed him. Now not everyone works a spin move like Alex Highsmith and they don't rush their edge rushers wide like this. But some guys do. And you can't get beat consistently. Again, we're... 
not super slow out of a stance in this play, but there's plenty of plays where he is. All right? It's just not a smooth motion. It is step, bring the right foot all the way over, step. Our feet, we don't want our feet skinny like that. Okay? We want to be, have a wider base. Our feet are slow. We're opening up our hips to the corner. He times up that spin. We actually drop our right foot. Like we put it, this is where you want your foot, but we're just not, don't have the foot speed to keep up with it. Next play again, spin move. We want our feet to be smooth. We are one clicking it together, right? Taking one foot instead of having a, a, a kick slide. It is, we are putting our feet together. Our punch is slow. It doesn't bring any power. Defensive lineman times it up. We're not there to recover. He gets a free run at the quarterback and TJ walks and his brother get to celebrate like he made some crazy play. Spin again. Again, the feet. It's just bad feet. It's just bad. Slow, bad feet. Our, our feet shouldn't be that close together. We're leaning into this with our shoulders instead of, instead of arching our back and punching. They time that up. We get our quarterback hit. Next play, a sack to Highsmith working around the corner. I mean, we're just slow off the football, man. And this happened a couple of... And there's there's other plays I'm not putting on here too, man. Where there's some miscommunication stuff. But I give him a little grace because he's so new to the team. But we got this wide rusher. This... this I mean, you're, you're not going to quick set from this. You're not going to jump set. You got you to gotta get here. Instead, we're here. And then... You don't want to be ever be in this spot where the line of scrimmage is here and you're facing the sideline. We're not eight, we don't have the speed to recover. And Highsmith gets him himself a sack. And 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 like here the like these are some good plays. Like these are his best plays. And again, you see the strength there. But we're like see how Illuminor is? Right? This is a good position to be in. I know he's got the tight end help, but that doesn't make a difference where with the way Jermaine Illuminor is setting here. This is the position you want to be in. You never want to be in a position where you're fa where you're facing the where you're facing the sideline, especially not that early on. We're just slow out of our stance. Now we got to click our feet together. Now we're in a vulnerable position, but he is strong, right? So once he's got hands on you, he can lock on you. And take your momentum and throw you on the ground. But it's going to be around the corner. You know, here again versus Highsmith. Like, you see the strength. But that's, that's not, I mean, let's, let's be one drag. You know, one step, right foot drag. Another step, right foot drag. Instead, it's one step that's not gaining any ground. And now our right foot. We're picking it up and clicking it to the left foot. And then we're opening up our hips. Now we're strong enough where we get a good punch on this, right? This little gets gets Highsmith's rush arc wider. But you consistently see that type of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, it's a big play. I hope you guys enjoyed the O-line video again. Sorry for being a little bit late, but I had a lot of a lot of things going on. Uh, we'll We'll be back next week. We'll recover. Um, and we will see you then. Until then, let's go big blue.